Hey, Michael Zalapsky here for a Make It Monday. This is the super cool intro for Power Gloves playback album trailer. And on Facebook, request to recreate it. So here we go. First things first, you need to start with your cool text. And we're going to make this red, obviously. And we're going to start with the outlines. So we're going to set the outline here, the stroke to four pixels. And we'll pick create on the right click menu, create shapes from text. Look at that. And I've got a shape layer with paths that are all stroked. Make sure nothing here is selected and choose the trim paths option. This is going to be our write on things. I'm going to draw on by animating the end from 0% all the way up to 100. Not very complicated. <laughs> We've got it set to stroke the all simultaneously. And there you go. So, step one done. Uh, next, we need the little glowing uh, shiny dots. They need to be a slightly brighter color. So we'll make a little brighter red here. And then we've got our dots. Let's turn the outlines off. And we want to mess with the trim paths because we don't want the paths to be growing on. So we'll make this as an end point 0.5%. And we'll just animate the offset. So we'll go from zero all the way through full rotation 360. Now we've got little dots that we're going to make shine out here a little bit. So we got our dots and our outlines. We should probably name this lines so that we don't get them confused. All right, lines and dots now for the look. To the lines, we'll apply optical glow and we'll make it larger, about 200. And the dots, let's say optical glow again. Uh, now we need to make this screen so that they lighten on top of the lines and we'll make them significantly brighter, like a hundred because you want these to really shine out. Speaking of shine, we'll apply trap code shine. So we got that lovely optical glow from the VFX suite and now trap code shine. Move the center point up there and uh, we'll boost the light somewhat. Uh, let's say about 70-ish, 74, 71, 70, whatever. And we'll make the ray length a little bit longer, like, I don't know, like that. There we go. And uh, we'll set the colorize to I don't know, Mars. It's not gonna change that much, but a little bit of a little bit of a difference there. And let's uh let's boost the light a little more, I think. Yeah, it looks better. Alright. Now it's time to get that burst into color. So we'll trim up our actual text layer here. Alright. Now we want to get our main text to have a little bit of brighter color at first, and it's going to fade out. So we're going to use the tint effect, all white, because it's easy to keyframe. And then we'll apply, hey, optical glow. What a surprise. Um, we're going to turn the amount up to 117, and we'll crank the size up a little bit bigger, too. We'll do it 100 and 117. Why not? Keep those numbers matching. Let's tighten up the glow with the fall off all the way up to 200. So that makes the glow real tight to letters. And we'll set uh, some keyframes on the highlights only, the amount, and the amount of tint in the tint effect. We're going to go down to zero on the amount. We're going to go up on highlights only a little bit. And we're going to go down all the way on the amount. And all the way on the amount of tint as well. So we go from that bright white down to the red. And we'll make these uh, little dots, shiny bits, keyframe off real quick. So they go pew. There we go. Nice little explosive unshininess there. And we'll add a bit of an ease in on those keyframes as well. So it kind of happens a bit more smoothly. Let's have a look, see? It's going, 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 pow. There we go. So we've got the main graphics down, but we need to have it look a little bit more old school. So we're going to use Universe Misfire. Misfire gives you some really good uh, film damage effects. Uh, we don't want the softness on for this one because we're going to be using some other effects later. And we don't need to mess with the saturation uh, or the fading. But we do want some funk and some splotches, especially the splotches. I think that'll look really good. Uh, we don't need to flicker and we don't want the vignette. We want those shiny things to 
be nice and bright all the way to the edge. Um, oh, I do want some detail from the micro scratches, though. I think that'll add a really nice texture to it. Uh, speaking of texture, some luminous noise would be good, uh, especially helpful with getting rid of the banding there, which can happen when you compress for web. Uh, we don't need the big scratches, uh, but I do want some gate weave, a little bit of shaky back and forth, and we don't need any of this post contrast. All right, uh, I should point out that a lot of these settings, you can twirl down and re really fine grain, ha, huh, detail on the different uh, film damages, but I think for this look, we're good with everything as it is. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right, and then uh, we'll add probably one of the most famous universe effects, VHS, but we're not gonna leave it at defaults, like some sort of silly goose. Uh, let's go with the preset of SVHS Studio. I think that'll be a good look for this, but we're gonna tweak it some uh, beyond this. Uh, I'm going to raise the black level just a little bit, up to two, and on the color offset, I want some chroma weave, put that up to seven. That gives us just a little bit more grunge in the colors, and just, just a touch. Under the tape damage, I don't want those lines running down through it. Keep it a little cleaner, and I don't want the color to be messed with here. I want that to be none on the LUT. And that brings back some more of that, uh, some more of that color there that we want. Got some nice look, does it look? Check, 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 and great. Scooch it forward a little bit so you have black at the beginning, and there you go.